Hi guys, today we are going to create a video on what we a new feature that we came up with called the option chain profile or the open interest profile. So this is a very, very unique feature that is available only in gocharting.com. What it does is basically tries to measure the sentiment of the buyers and sellers in the option market and superimpose it on your price chart, right? So this is the first time where you are going to kind of overlay the entire options chain on the price chart. Okay, the way we do it is uh, we're going to get to it in, in a while. So we have learned a lot about volume profile in our uh, in our YouTube channel, a lot about market profile. So this is a new kind of profile called the open interest or the option chain profile. So without much ado, let's get started. <clears throat> the idea of this profile is to kind of uh, uh, give the traders an edge by figuring out what exactly is the sentiment going on in the options market because we feel that is where the the, the signals are generated uh, first before um, moving into the futures and then to the spot market so uh, traders who are using this will uh, definitely have an edge over the spot traders or any other traders because now on a real-time basis you are able to uh, figure out the, the 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 buyer and the seller pressure and the options chain or the option strikes now the way we are going to do it is uh, as against all of the videos where we directly go to the charts this time we're going to go to the our options trading platform called the option desk which we released six months ago right so let's go there uh, we're going to go to NEC India okay for an example so when you open it uh, the first thing you're gonna see uh, is uh, what we call as the option chain right so this is what you're going to see when you just arrive uh, in this platform. This is the default view. Now, what, what we are interested in is looking at um, the option chain on the price chart, right? So let's go ahead and make some changes to the option chain. So the ones that I'm really interested in right now is uh, OI and volume. So these are the fields that I'm really interested in. And my goal is to plot these profiles that you are seeing, basically the open interest at every strike level or the volume at every strike level on the price chart. So the way we're gonna do it is we are going to go straight to the price chart. So this is our price chart, as we know. Uh, let me get rid of this for now. By definite, by default, the it, it will be the underlying chart, which is in this case Nifty Spot, that will be shown. But if you wish to uh, change it to a futures, you can do that um, by clicking on this drop down and selecting the futures chart that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Nifty One. Okay, let me get rid of these. Okay, so this is your Nifty chart on a four-hour time frame. My goal is to kind of now understand on this Nifty Futures chart, what is the sentiment going on at every strike level in the option chain, right? So what we am gonna do is I'm gonna go to something called as the OI profile here in the bottom, and I'm gonna enable it. So the moment you enable, you see these uh, profiles getting created uh, on the price chart, okay? Now let's try and understand what these profiles are. When you go to the option chain, Right. By definition, you're going to see all the option CDs that are going to expire uh, sometime in the future stacked one after another. So, for example, there is a 13 January series expiring in four days. There's a 28 January series expiring in 11 days. There's a 27 January series expiring in 18 days, 25 days. So there are weeklies and there are monthlies. So I think we all know what these are if you are an option trader right now what these profiles are showing me is basically exactly those exact series now overlaid on the time axis so for example this particular series that i have in here let me pull it up and explain so this series that i have in here is going to expire in four days on 13th of january okay and then i have uh, the next series which is going to expire on 20th of january in 13 days then the next on 27th and then the monthlies begin okay so right now uh we are uh on 7th of january and we are going to kind of try and measure what the sentiment is like in this coming week at least for nifty right 
<clears throat> so what we see here is uh, let's take a particular profile and zoom on it so this is a particular profile on the left hand side you have the calls on the right hand side you have the puts what you see there in the form of these greens are basically your calls and the reds are the puts now the the the, the <clears throat> there are two colors you see there's a dark shade of green and there's a light shade of green that you will see probably let me go to the yeah if you now look there's a shade so we're going to talk a little bit about it and then there's a few which are hollow so we're going to talk all about it how you kind of interpret this okay so <clears throat> but if you go to the settings by default you will see i have enabled the oi profile which gives me the profile and 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 the metric that is measuring right now is open interest right so these bars are nothing but the open interest at every strike level so let's try and understand it using the option chain right so i'm going to go ahead and put the option chain here and let's get the price chart on the side okay so i have the price chart on the right hand side and i have the option chain on the left let me just go ahead and get rid of what i don't need okay so that's a neat okay so that's a neat uh, option chain that i can see here so on the left hand side i have the option chain on the right hand side i have the price chart now let's understand what these are okay if you kind of take these bars that you are seeing on the left hand side these are all on the call side the open interest on the call and you put it on the price chart and you do the same on the put side so these are the put side on the right hand side that kind of forms your open interest profile so basically at every strike so for example this is one strike this is one strike so every strike i'm looking at what is the open interest so for example this 4.7 million is nothing but this exact big bar that you are seeing here so that could be one of the key you know support or resistance points that i am interested in uh, going into this uh, coming week similarly on the put side you see this 4.2 million dollars uh sorry uh, 4.2 million open interest getting created on at 17500 so this could be another interesting you know point that i might be looking at from a support and resistance standpoint in the next four or five days so this is basically the sentiment that is getting generated on the option chain overlaid on your price chart so you exactly know where the price might be headed it could either move to this level or it could move down to this level so these are the two ranges that i am interested in right now and uh, let me go ahead and put this so this is the range that i am probably interested in right now to figure out where the uh, market is moving right now <clears throat> uh the same thing we are going to see at every uh so if you take the series that is going to expire in 11 days this is the series that we are talking about similarly you know all the series stacked up that's what you are seeing here right now okay now what we are going to do is see uh, what other metrics can we look at it so, okay so for example i can go ahead and change from open interest to volume right now what you are seeing here is basically not the open interest but the actual volume executed on these strikes uh, expiring in four days 13 days and onwards so now it's not open interest but it's actually the volume column from the option chain that is getting plotted here again calls on the left hand side puts on the right hand side okay now uh, another way of looking at it is if we kind of accumulate or aggregate all of these series into one and 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 then find out what is the cumulative sentiment that you have is it bearish bullish what levels you know uh, that would be interesting so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to go here and choose cumulative okay the moment i do cumulative basically now you are looking at uh, a much cleaner chart because you are looking at everything cumulated into one profile across all the series okay so you basically sum up across all the series to come up with this profile and let me go to open interest i think that might be more interesting yeah so this chart is pretty interesting right here 
right now so what you are seeing here is basically these important levels that have taken shape this one and then there's a big one here okay at 17,500 so 17,500 and 18,000 are important levels right so let me go ahead and put it so 18,000 strike and Seventeen thousand five hundred. So these are important ones for me right now. But you can see here, once these resistance and supports are broken, the next one that I might be interested in is exactly this one. This fellow at seventeen thousand. So this seventeen thousand, seventeen thousand five hundred, and eighteen thousand, which are normally, you know. Uh, psychological figures uh, those are the important points where the interest is really developing now let's try and understand what these shades of the color are okay I hope you are with me so far okay now the shades basically mean is the darker shades is basically what was the open interest as of yesterday so this was the open interest that was when I say yesterday I mean the previous uh, trading day so this would be Thursday right uh, and uh, on friday there was huge amount of open interest getting generated so this is a long build up happening here uh, in, in in lighter shade at 17000 at 18000 level okay similarly uh, there's a huge uh, uh, short build up happening on the put side here uh, in lighter shade at 17500 so what it does is so if you look here so the uh, so the lighter shades are basically the long build up and the short build up which i've shown and then there are certain cases where you see a hollow right that's long unwinding and short covering that is happening so maybe we will see this when we yeah if you look at this particular series which is going to expire on 27th you you are seeing some hollow uh, bars here these are basically reflecting the the, the long unwinding and the short covering uh, at these strike levels so uh, what it so in short if you are an option writer uh, sorry for a, uh, a c writer or a p writer or basically these sentiments are very important for you to kind of create your support and resistance in the next few weeks to months uh, it's it's a, it's a short term view it's not a very very long term view but it is very very dynamic and changing uh, intraday so this could be a very very interesting uh, tool for you to going forward as you figure out how you set up your trade you are using a mix of option chain metrics and your futures chart I hope you like the show. Thank you so much.